Hi everybody, so these next um, videos are on labor positions. Okay, did you know that you can choose positions in labor, whether you're birthing at home or in the hospital, that can make you get stronger contractions um, and help you get contractions that are more frequent. So this is what happens to get the baby born and get your work done of labor a little sooner. So uh, the optimal positions in labor are ones that help your pelvis to open up. Um, they help your sacrum and your coccyx to move back, rotate back freely. Um, that way the baby can just navigate through the pelvis. And if uh, you remember that the baby is not just going one direction down through the pelvis, the baby is actually moving their head back and forth, wiggling their way through. So when the laboring person is moving and finding different positions to help their pelvis open up, um, you're cooperating with the baby and helping them move closer to the exit. A great position you can try in labor is squatting. So sometimes you can try to squat and like lean over a chair to, hold, to help support yourself. This is with a reposo and we can tie a knot and throw it over the door to use as a secure anchor. Um, you can watch a video that I have down my page that shows how to do this. So when you're doing a squat, the contractions may seem super intense and almost unbearable, but then once you do a few, um, it gets a little bit easier and it's a great way to get a lot of work done during a few contractions. So literally just when the pelvis is in this position, it's just really, really opening up the most it can, um, letting the baby have the clearest way through to the exit. During, in this position, a lot of people will get a strong urge to push. They'll feel like the baby made a lot of the descent. Um, you know, came down a lot, um, they feel a lot of progress in this position. So I'll give it a try. When you get tired and need some rest, you can try this position, which is left side lie. So sometimes, sometimes clients will lay in their bed or sometimes they'll put a yoga mat on the floor with a blanket and just um, find a place to lay on the floor. Sometimes they like it that it's not so soft and they can get their bearings a little better. So for left side lie, you're literally just laying on your left side and putting a pillow between your legs. You can roll over to your side another. Like that. And so in this position, the, the laboring person can take a nap and rest. And then also from this side, we can massage their back. So you can put a counter pressure or pressure on their hips a little bit just to help um, with the labor. It's really good to get rest during your labor. So in between all of your other positions, um, taking a little nap in between will even help your contractions to get stronger and get them closer together because you've had time to rest your body. Thank you. So one thing that you can do in this position is push the hips in or put a little pressure here on the back um, or the laboring person can move their hips in circles. <laughs> okay, this one is about slow dancing during labor. Maybe? You can put your hands here. So if she was the one in labor, I could just hold her like this. And just sway. All of this is great for oxytocin, like making eye contact, just telling you affirmations. You're doing so good. Sometimes the eye contact can be nice. We'll probably like slow down a little bit more. But the, <laughs> the eye contact is good to help with oxytocin. People feel safe when you make eye contact um, with them. Um, also, when you're slow dancing and walking, the gravity is going towards the exit. And when you're just moving out, Gentle movement is just again rotating the hips, helping the baby to come through. Hey everybody, um, this is Andrea. Hi, I'm Amada. And we're going to show you how the exercise ball can be a great tool in labor to help your pelvis to open up and to help uh, relieve back labor. So uh, let's go. One thing I think that can help is like putting a piece of fabric over the ball so that um, it's not like sticky or uncomfortable. And yeah, it's just nicer. Okay, so the first one we can do is sitting on the ball. So you can, the, the person in labor can sit on the ball, you can kind of support them by holding hand or they can hold on to something else. And we can, on this first one, we can just have them roll their hips in a circle. So when they're doing this, um, what's happening inside is the hips are just going like this. So it just helps, um, just imagine that there's a little baby head in there, um, or, um, inside of the bones, just helping the baby just to, to wiggle out and to open the pelvis little by little. Another good position or activity you can do on the, the ball is bouncing. 
So bouncing is a cool thing you can do when you're trying to get, you know, contractions to go because it has a lot of, um, it helps the fetal head um, put more application on the cervix so it can kind of like get things going. So then another one is um, on hands and knees. Yeah, so the person in labor came down hands and knees. Um, this is a great time for them to take little naps and rest. And so in this labor, the I mean, in this position, the baby is, you know, kind of hanging low in the belly. So it can kind of take some pressure off the back. Um, and when they do circles with their back, um, this is moving. And then also the sacrum right here is getting lifted up a little bit. So it helps with back labor and also helps the baby to descend. Also, it's a, they can take little naps on here between contractions, too. In this video, I'm going to talk about how awesome lunges are um, and how you can do them in labor to help the baby to descend or to help contractions kind of get a little stronger and more intense. So lunges are great because when they have one foot up here and they do circles with their hips, that, yeah, and just rot rotate. Right. So during the whole contraction, they're just moving, moving, moving. And so when this is happening inside, the pelvis is going like that a little bit and it's moving. When she switches over and does it on the other side, the same thing's happening on the other side of the pelvis. So you can just do, do these, you know, maybe like do them for five contractions, 10 contractions, just try it and see if it helps get the labor to go a little stronger or if it helps to get the baby to descend into the pelvis a little bit more. Thank you. Okay, bye.